What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing some Escape from Tarkov and this is going to be a guide type of video to show newer players how to, they can make some passive income in their hideout even starting off at level 1. So let's get right into it. Let's jump in and look at our workbench level 1, okay? So this is a good one. Workbench level 1. There's a few crafts you can make in this uh, workbench without it being level 2 that actually make you very good profit per hour and uh, per craft that is. So starting off, uh, one of the main ones is this right here. It costs two power cords to make eight wires. You can see around 20k is usually what you can get these for. Sometimes a little bit under if you're lucky. It is pretty competitive sniping, but you see 20k here. So that puts us at the ingredients around 40k it will cost us. And it's going to make us eight wires. If we look here, these wires are selling for over 10k. So right there alone with the feet. We're looking at around 30 35k profit per craft so this really adds up you can do this while you're um in a raid while you're in a scav raid it's going to be going off in the background and it's going to be making you a lot of profit very quickly um another good craft for these level one workbenches is this gunpowder here because this gunpowder is used to make a lot of the higher uh armor pen ammo later down the line uh, when you get your working workbench uh, upgrade a little bit, you use this to make some of the better rounds in the game. So that means it's going to stay profitable forever, pretty much, as long as people are still pumping out those rounds. So let's look at the ingredients quick. <clears throat> we can get this kite gunpowder for 15k. We can get, this is the more expensive one, looks like 64k. That puts us at about 79k. And then let's see these matches. Match is about 20k. <clears throat> so, I mean, we're looking at pretty much 100k. Let's see what we can sell these for. We sell them for about, around 60k. Take a little bit off. So, this we're looking at around 8k profit per craft. Maybe like 8 to 12k profit per, per time we craft this. But the thing is, you can craft four of these in the time it takes to craft really one of these uh, wire crafts. So, I mean, both of these are profitable. If you're just looking for straight up profits with your workbench level one, then I would go ahead and craft one of these two. Just double check, you know, which one's selling for the most at the time. Wires look good right now. And uh, gunpowder also looks good a little bit less. That one's way underpriced. But so these are the two main ones you want to be crafting from your workbench. There's a third one you can get away with. Um, sometimes and that, that's this grenade one. You, you make eight grenades from it. Uh, let's see what this grenade's called. I forget. The VOG 25 grenade. If you make those, you can also make some profit. Just make sure you're getting your ingredients for less than what you will be able to sell it for. It's pretty easy, pretty uh, self-explanatory. But we're going to go ahead and start up our generator while we're here. And let's start up this wirecraft. I think this wirecraft uh, at the time of this video is the better one to craft. You can see these wires are going for way under 20k, which just makes this wirecraft way more profitable. Oh, we missed it. It's harder to get some of these, like I said. Very competitive with the <laughs> trying to buy. We're missing all of them. Makes me think there's definitely bots in the game that just buy stuff. Because it's hard to get. Okay, we got one for 20k. If we waited a little bit longer, you can always get them for under 20k. So if you're really starting out, you can try that. But we're going to go ahead and start this. And we're going to make about 30k profit uh in about two hours crafting time so that's not bad like i said we'll be going into raids raids and doing all that in the meantime making profit uh the other way so next up lavatory let's just go ahead and take a quick look at our lavatory i believe this is a level one item i'm not positive let me check really quick let me just make sure lavatory yes it's a level one craft perfect <clears throat> Because this is the most consistent and most profitable one. Let's just grab these right now. And let's go ahead and just filter and search. So this is about 12k. We'll buy one if it lets us. Okay, we got one for 12k. And then we will get this other cloth. Or if we can get that. And we got it for 6.6k. Not bad. So we got both of those combined. 18k. And we'll be able to sell these scav book bags. It's... 
down a little bit because there's a lot of people crafting these but it definitely you can sell them for around 15k usually uh, for the most part it depends like i said there's a lot of people crafting them right now so the price does go down a little bit you're still making profit let's see one more time so if we sell these for still 14k we'll be making about almost close to 10k per craft still 8 to 10k per craft and this one only takes an hour so combined we're looking at about 40 to 50k passive profit per two hours with these two crafts now let's move over to the med station which i believe for this one you might need med station 2 let me double check yes yeah, so you do need med station 2 for this uh craft to be for this uh station to be very profitable but you're gonna want to be making right here this uh meds craft and the reason for that is everything else is dirt cheap you know just got a $500 cheese. You can see the bandages obviously are going to be dirt cheap. Cheese health kit will be dirt cheap. And then this augmentin is also very cheap. Right around 13k. So if we add all that up, let's look at 13k, around 2k. And we got this for 500. So 15, 5, pretty much 15,500 coins. And we'll be able to sell three of these for about 2100 so we're looking at about 5k profit and that one is per 46 minutes so not bad did we uh start this up that's really the only profitable craft unless you get to level three the med station is not the best i guess um but really you can use it to make your own meds or like i said you can just do this one it'll make you profit passively it's not the best profit. It seems like the work bench is the best passive profit, but it still does make you some profit. And then next up on our nutritional unit, I'm not sure if, yeah, nothing's profitable right now in the nutritional unit, sadly. Uh, no matter what level, it really, it varies. Like at the beginning of the day, in the morning, I should say, or in the middle of the day, everyone's crafting stuff and putting it immediately up on the market so things are going to go for a lot less what you can do is you can craft stuff hold on to it until you know later at night at night the prices seem at least for me to go back up to a pretty good price because there's a lot less people online crafting those things pumping them out putting them into the market so those are the three crafts you can sometimes snickers are profitable slickers i should say not snickers Slickers avoid a uh, copyright infringement. Slickers are sometimes profitable. That's about it. There's really nothing from this uh, nutritional unit that's profitable. Uh, for the tr Christmas tree, if you're really just looking to make straight up money and profit, you want to save up to either make the graphics card that you can sell for a few hundred K or the weapon case, which you can sell for millions, or you could even use the, either of those. The other ones are not really worth it. So yeah, I would just save up for these two. Most likely everyone's going to be doing this uh, graphics unit because it's just, it's a lot easier to get these pieces, you know. We're up a third of the way there already. So try to build a graphics card or if you really want to save up, get that uh, weapon case. As for other passive income, that's really it. You can get the scav case, which I don't have yet. But this is, like I said, this video is more for people just starting out in the game. It's kind of for some of my friends as well who haven't even looked at their hideout yet. This is just a way for them to make some passive profit in the game, build up that cash stack, and, uh, you know, have more fun with it. Hope this video helped you guys. I'm going to be making a video soon about how to make money with scav runs, how to make good money. And I will have that out ASAP. I guess I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.